One, two, three, four, five. See, that's too fast. <laughs> hey, and thank you for clicking play. And you've caught me once again messing about in FAA 18 Interceptor, this time on my A1200, which I didn't have last time with the 030 accelerator in it. June 2021, I posted a video and we even did some maths in that video because F-18 is set in the glorious San Francisco Bay, meaning it's a real, real world location that we can measure distances on using Google Maps. And of course, we can look up things like the maximum speed of an F-18 Hornet and we can use that to establish whether or not an accelerated Amiga is playing the game realistically. And the outcome of that was not, it's, it's not playing it realistically, uh, it, it's, it's running things too fast, even though, you know, to the layman, it looks like you've just got a better frame rate, actually it's speeding up time and making the aircraft do things that it shouldn't do. Or is it? <laughs> so I'll insert a bit of footage of the maths from the previous video there, but I'll put the link in the, in the description to the original video as well. How fast should you be able to fly from uh, going flat tack past Alcatraz to the north end of the Golden Gate Bridge. Using Google Maps, we can measure the distance, which comes up to 4.87 kilometers, which I'll round up to five. I was running at 920 knots, which is rounded up 1,704 kilometers per hour. The real top speed of an F-18 is 1,915 kilometers an hour, but that would be at altitude not at 1,000 feet above sea level. On the stock A500, I completed that five kilometer run in 10 seconds. Speed equals distance divided by time. So what we end up with is an in-game speed on the stock A500 of 1,800 kilometers. That's very close to the reported speed of 1,704. Actually, let's not forget the actual distance measured as close as we could was 4.87 kilometers. So if we redo the maths again, we actually come out with a speed on the stock A500 of 1,753.2 kilometers. That's literally within a smidge, a, a, a 50 kilometer an hour smidge of the reported speed on the instruments in the game of 1,704. So you can see there, we did some maths and you know we could prove that the Amiga 500, the humble Amiga 500 was actually covering those distances more accurately based on what we know about the aircraft and the real world location. Great outcome, or is it? <laughs> and what got me thinking about this video is basically a good YouTuber friend of mine, George, uh, George Tui from Tui's Tech and Gaming, he'd been waggling his joystick. Very similar to this one here, only he's got the Xbox um, Series X compatible version of this, same joystick, great joystick by Thrustmaster. Um, I've bought the PlayStation 4 compatible one, obviously, um, and you can either have it as one lump like that, or you can actually separate these out, so you can have the throttle over here and the joystick over there. You got rudders by rotate or even by um, buttons here. Seesaw button, throttle, main stick, and all the buttons under the sun. Before I talk about George and uh, him waggling his joystick on YouTube um, for the world to see, what I will quickly show you is a pickup that I got only yesterday from the local reef, re refuse station. Look at this. A Logitech, so this is USB, a Logitech Satec X52. <laughs> Look at that. Well, it would go that way actually, wouldn't it? Throttle, main joystick. Oh, what a thing. Needs a bit of a clean up because uh, the soft rubbers have gone very sticky. Have been cleaning it up today with some alcohol wipes, but I can't wait to get this working on the PC. But look, even if I can't get it working, I need this in my life. Even if that just sits on the shelf. That's fantastic. Anyway, so more on that in the future, I'm sure. That cost me $10 Australian, so about five pounds. And yes, I did look up what they're worth and it's a lot more than that. So I do hope it works. Back to George and waggling his joystick on camera. 
basically, um, he's been playing about in Flight Simulator 2020 on the Xbox. And he started hooting around Liverpool in his F-18. And as soon as I realised there's an F-18 in that game, I thought, well, I know there's a ton of real-world locations in that, that game, if not the entire world. So I got in touch with George, and thank you very much, George. He agreed to do a collaboration. Some of his footage behind me here on the PC. And we'll get a further look at that in a bit as well. Oh, he's about to come into land. Um, no spoilers. Does he make it? I've seen his attempts at landing before. So I asked George, I said, George, can you do the run for me? Can you go from Alcatraz, the north end of the Golden Gate Bridge? Because I'm interested to see if the times are indeed consistent with the A500, or does it in fact go faster? Let's have a look at his run. Chris made me do this. This one's for you, mate. Oakland Tower Boeing Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra ready for departing straight out at runway 28 left. Boeing Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra altimeter 29. Top Gun Tui at the helm today, folks. Just taking off at runway 21 left, Oakland International, heading northwest across the Bay Area over Oakland Bay Bridge, making a left turn, then heading due west across Alcatraz, then onto the north side of the Golden Gate Bridge. Thank you so much, George, for that bit of footage. Cracks me up every single time. What George also did was some, let's call it showboating. He did that for me. And what I found interesting about that is now we can have a look at things like roll rate. Is the roll rate um, accurate on the Xbox with George's flying, the A500, or is it actually more accurate than the A500 on an accelerated A1200 for physics like that, because then we open up a whole new can of worms in terms of the actual flight dynamics of the aircraft, even though we know the speed is wrong under acceleration. So let's, let's take the Xbox as the point of truth now. Let's, um, well, first of all, Bing says the, this about the um, roll rate of the F-18. It basically says that it has a roll rate of 120 degrees, um, per second, so the aircraft can roll, t roll not turn, roll um, through 120 degrees, which is about that much, because it's a third of 360 degrees, which is a full rotation, um, per second. So one third of a roll per second, which means it will take three seconds for a complete roll. 
Three seconds is what we're looking for. Let's see what the Xbox does it in. There we go. That looked pretty accurate to me. Let's see what the A500, because in my view, the A500 would also be accurate. Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that is actually not that accurate. And that was just me counting seconds, but yeah. Ah, <laughs> that wasn't quite what I was expecting. So what I haven't done is I haven't had a look at how this reacts. So the A1200, full afterburner, because that's how we were doing it on the other two, because that's going to affect the speed of air going over. So when we go bang, yeah, let's go. One, two, three. Shit. <laughs> So even though the speeds, oh my goodness, my entire argument in the previous video from 2021 is up in the air now. It's up in the air. I stand by what I said. Gravity gets distorted. You fall too quickly. The visual representation of speed goes out the window. But the flight dynamics of the aircraft in terms of that is actually more accurate. Possibly things like how fast it can turn through 360 degrees around. What would that? That would be the turn rate, right? Oh. It's all up in the air. <laughs> it's all up in the air. But I'll go back to what I said at the end of the first video. It's all fun. So if you... <laughs> Damn it. So it... Oh, what do I say here? It's still, oh. Thanks for watching. <laughs>